how is your Monday going? Mine has been quite busy and hectic. Um, I feel like the summer has just flown past, and I'm sure you probably feel the same way, especially if you have kids. Um, I'm, I know a lot of schools are starting up this week around here. The public schools are starting this week. Uh, we actually started today, so that's part of the busyness of today for me. So I hope you guys have had a good summer, though. I hope you had a chance to have a little bit of downtime and just relax a little bit, maybe even get away. And I hope that you've gotten to read some good books. I'd love to hear about some of the books that you've been reading. So if you guys have been reading anything that you want to share, please comment at any point. Uh, share what you're enjoying reading. And also, if you're looking for a recommendation, you know, also now that kids are going back to school, maybe some of you have more time to read and you're looking for a specific book. Maybe you don't know what you want to read next and you're looking for some recommendations. Go ahead and ask for those as well. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And um, first, I was going to tell you guys a little bit about my month. So I have not been able to read a whole lot this month because I've been pretty busy with writing and that's my husband back there. You can wave you now. <laughs> anyway, he's going to ignore me. Um, so I have very, <laughs> hello. All right. I have not had much time to read because I've been very busy writing and editing. I, for those of you who follow me pretty often on social media, you know that I was working on a novella in July and I did complete that. It's not as long as I had originally intended, uh, but it's also not done yet. I have some further research and stuff to do. Um, as I wrote it, I realized some things that I'll want to go back and add to some of the earlier chapters, uh, things like that, but it came together very well. I'm very pleased with it. I'm very excited about it. And this novella is uh, sort of a backstory for some of the characters in the novel that I wrote earlier in the year. Um, speaking of that novel, still don't have a title I can share with you guys. I hope that that will be coming soon. It's in the process. Titles are tricky. Um, I don't know if all writers feel this way, but I feel like a lot of my writer friends are similar in the fact that titles are just difficult for us. Because um, you want something that is, is catchy, you want something that um, is really going to draw the eye because, of course, we all know, don't judge a book by its cover, but we all do. And part of the cover is the title. So the title is super, super important. I think maybe for me, part of the reason titles are so hard is I, is I worry so much about them. But I've always struggled with titles. Uh, I mean, I've been a writer for a very long time. I started out in journalism, and I always struggled with a headline for my articles. Um, thankfully, I've always had a really good editors who helped with that, but uh, titles are just difficult. I do have a title for this book that I absolutely adore, but I'm not sure that it's right. Um, I've had some really good advice from some of my other writer friends, and so we're just wanting to make sure that it's the right fit. So that's why I just keep saying the novel or the literary fiction novel and I don't actually have a title for you yet, but trust me, I'm working on it. And speaking of amazing writing friends, so my friend Mae Smith, um, who some of you may have seen commenting on my page here and there, she is an incredible writer in her own right, and she is my critique partner and has read this novel and critiqued it for me and gave me just an incredible critique that is I'm so thankful for um, and with the critique that she has done for me and some other uh, feedback that I had gotten from some other people I will be beginning the revisions on the novel tomorrow actually so the goal is to complete this round of revisions by the middle of September so hopefully by the next time we have a chat I'll have some more information for you about that. But I'm pleased with how things are going. I'm very excited because as I was working on the novella, I had a lot of ideas um, that will come into play with the novel as well. I learned a lot about some of the characters in the novel. 
I learned a lot about myself as a writer. Um, I think that that's something that all writers do is everything that you write, you learn something new about yourself, about your abilities, and in turn about the stories that we write and the characters that we create. So um, this past month has been just a really good learning experience. And I'm looking forward to taking some of that learning and tossing it into these revisions that I'm doing. So I know I've talked a little bit more about writing this month so far <laughs> than I have reading, but that's because this past month has been spent doing so much of that. And I know some of you are interested in the writing process and how that all works. So um, I wanna share some of that every now and then um, for you guys. But also, like I said, I haven't had a lot of time to read. I am currently reading and have been for, it looks like forever on my Goodreads, but <laughs> I really haven't actually spent a lot of time reading it simply because I've been so busy with other things. But uh, Broken Tomorrows by KT Daxon, and she is a fellow writer mom. So that's, um, that's what's on my nightstand right now. That's what I've been reading, and I hope to finish soon because my uh, to-be-read pile, which we all know our to-be-read pile is hundreds and thousands. It's the leaning tower of books, right? But my immediate to-be-read pile is already starting to topple. So I would like to be able to get on to some more books. And now I've got my life a little bit more on track and scheduled and back in a, in a good routine. I hope that I'll be able to read more now this month. And I'm looking forward to that. So Speaking of recommendations, though, um, I did get a really good recommendation from another writer mom friend of mine, Christy Decker, who is a great writer in her own right. I think I've said that twice tonight. Wish I could edit my talking like I can edit my writing. Anyway, Christy has written several books now, and I look forward to reading hers. They are on my to be read list. Um, but she recommended a book that she's currently reading. And it is called One Beautiful Dream, The Rollicking Tale of Family Chaos, Personal Passions, and Saying Yes to Them Both. It's by Jennifer Fulweiler. And she is a mom, a mother of six kids, who has written multiple books, um, which actually sounds like Christy, speaking of, because she, Christy also has six kids, I believe. I think I have that number right. Uh, and so this book is really geared toward women, you know, because we all, we always hear the, you can't have it all phrase, or we hear, well, we want to have it all or whatever. Um, but Jennifer Fulweiler has written this book and it's all about how she has found a way to have it all. Um, I'll read what it says here because this will explain it better since I haven't read the book yet, but it is on my list now. Um, thanks to Christy's recommendation, but it says, Pursue your passions, love your family, and say goodbye to guilt, pipe dream, or possibility. Work and family, individuality and motherhood, the creative life, and family life. Women are told constantly that they can't have it all. One Beautiful Dream is the deeply personal, often humorous tale of what happened when one woman, one woman dared to believe that you can have it all, if you're willing to reimagine what having it all looks like. So I'm intrigued and I can't wait to read it. And I know Christy has been sharing a few little snippets as she's been reading and uh, I'm really looking forward to reading this book. So if you, um, especially if you're a woman who has um, some creative passions, whether it be writing or art or something like that, and you're in the midst of um, motherhood and work and all the many things that take so much time, um, this might be a good book for you to put on your list. So thank you, Christy, for recommending that one for us. Um, I know I'm looking forward to reading it. So speaking of reading, of course, I have the Summer Reading Challenge going on on my page, and I forgot to pull up my photo. But anyway, you guys can find on my page I've got, um, I'm challenging you to read three books this summer. And my summer goes until the end of September. So you still have plenty of time. That's still, you know, almost two full months ahead of us. So you've still got plenty of time. And then in addition to that, 
because I know some people read a lot faster than others. So I have two extra challenges. If you read those three books, um, I have a couple of others for you to read. And if somebody passes through all those, I've got another one I can toss your way. So just let me know if you've gotten through all those. And I do have prizes. And I'm excited to announce for the first time here tonight what some of the prizes are going to be. So a friend of mine is a senior in high school, and her name is Peyton, and she has started an Etsy shop to fund her book that she is planning to self-publish later this year. Peyton is an incredibly talented young lady, and I have had the privilege of reading the book that she is hoping to publish. It's excellent. It is a nonfiction guide to invasive species in Louisiana. So it's a great book um, for kids and for adults, for all ages, really. Uh, it's very informative. It's something that I never really thought about, but Louisiana happens to be a state that has a ton of invasive species, both plants and animals. And so her book is really, really interesting. But here's the even more amazing part, because I can barely draw stick figures. I guess that's why I'm so amazed by this. But she has done all of the illustrations in her book as well. And guys, they're beautiful. So her Etsy shop is Costville Company. And I have posted on my page um, a link to her Etsy shop. So if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll be able to find that. And please go check out her shop. She has all of the illustrations from her original book um, have been made into uh, things like stickers, notebooks, um, even bags, and wall art. So go and check out her, her Etsy page. And I'm planning on having uh, maybe some of the stickers or she's looking into getting some bookmarks done with her artwork. Um, so it'll be something like that. Those will be some of our prizes. So if you are participating in the summer reading challenge, those will be some of the prizes that I'll have for you guys. So like I said though, Peyton, um, her, her Etsy shop, um, all of the money that she makes from that will go towards self-publishing her book. And all the money that she makes from her book will go toward her college education. So I'm super proud of this young lady and I hope that you guys will support her as well. Um, so let's see, uh, I think that's pretty much everything that I had planned to talk to you guys about. The only other thing that I was going to say is I am looking forward to the Mississippi Book Festival. That's coming up on the 18th of this month and that's in Jackson, Mississippi. This will be my third year going to the Mississippi Book Festival and this is the, the third uh, state book festival that I've attended. Uh, and I think it's my favorite. Don't tell the others, but <laughs> uh, I really, really do enjoy going to this one. Um, I always go with my friend, May Smith, and we have a great time going together, um, meeting other authors, listening to them speak. Um, we really come away from it being inspired and excited and I'm really looking forward to this year. So if you happen to be in Mississippi, um, and want to stop by. It's on August 18th, like I said, in Jackson, Mississippi. If you're going to be there, if you're planning to be there, please let me know because I would love to see you. Say hi. All right, so I hope you guys have a great night, and if you ever need a book recommendation or you want to share a, a really good read that you um, are enjoying at the moment, please let me know, and I will see you guys next month for our September Book Club. Bye.